hi i am dr sharjeel and today i would like to show you different cases of gyrate atrophy and in detail what you should know about the gyrate atrophy so the first case of uh, this disease was described in 1888 by jacobson as an example of atypical retinitis pigmentosa later cutler and fuchs in 1896 were the first to recognize the disease as a distinct as a separate clinical entity inheritance of this disease is autosomal recessive 1973 simel and tacky diagnosed the deficiency of the enzyme ornithine amino transferase results in an increase in the plasma ornithine concentration 10 to 15 times the normal levels and the defective enzyme uses vitamin b6 pyridoxine as a cofactor that catalyzes the interconversion of ornithine glutamate and proline so patient presents with poor night vision and constricted peripheral visual fields sometimes come with the complaints of bumping into the walls and other people usually in the first and second decades of life decreased vision complaint is rarely a presenting complaint the other associated features are myopia and posterior subcapsular cataract you can clearly see here in our young patient the myopic crescent with gyrate atrophy he is also a thin emaciated slim patient that also tells you the defective protein metabolism so the fundus changes begin just posterior to the equator and they progress anteriorly towards the aura as well as posteriorly towards the macula there is marked retinal thinning atrophic RPE choroidal show initially separate patches that tend to confluent coalesce and gradually choroidal atrophy occurs and underlying sclera is exposed in late stages an annular ring of choroidal atrophy may be seen from the periphery to the posterior pole usually sparing the macula In some patients cystoid macular edema is also noted for which intravitreal steroids have good results visual fields will show constricted fields on electroretinogram rod responses diminish early in the course of the disease whereas cones response says decrease when the disease involves the macula treatment is arginine restricted diet arginine is a type of protein that is abundant in peanuts soya beans meat chicken turkey ornithine is also produced from other proteins so most investigators advocate that patients be restricted to a rigid, rigid low protein diet there are two types of patients pyridoxine responsive patients pyridoxine responsive patients can results in a reduction of plasma or nitin levels erg responses are maintained when pyridoxine is taken orally in these patients only patients with a drop in ornithine levels should be maintained on oral vitamin b6 but only 20 percent of the people are pyridoxine responsive majority of the patients are pyridoxine negative so when you give vitamin b6 and you couldn't find any response you should not continue the vitamin b6 supplementation cystoid macular edema can be treated with the NSAIDs steroids and anti vegf injections glasses for myopic correction 
phaco emulsification for cataract low vision devices in the later stages and gene therapy in future may emerge as a promising therapy so that's all you should know about the gyrate atrophy